Today, I want to talk to you about one of the most absolutely important minerals for ladies to take. If you are a mom, or you might be dealing with hormonal imbalances, or you're just seeking to improve your overall health and wellness, these reasons are going to be highly impactful for you deciding to add our magnesium seven to your daily regimen. So magnesium deficiency is so prevalent, it's overwhelming our population. And magnesium deficiencies can lead to a whole cascade of health challenges. When you add magnesium to your daily diet, it has one really powerful effect here and it helps to balance your hormones. So especially for us women who are perimenopausal or going through menopause or postmenopausal, when our estrogen starts decreasing and our progesterone also decreases, magnesium deficiency comes in to help save the day. It helps to balance and regulate not just our estrogen and progesterone, but it also helps to keep cortisol production at bay, which helps to enhance our capacity to make as much of the hormones as we can possibly make so that you see less of that major gap between estrogen and progesterone as it's decreasing. And magnesium also plays a huge role in supporting our bone health. And honestly, in my book as a naturopathic physician, I feel like our bone density assessments should be beginning in our mid thirties to our early forties to get baselines on our bone density. And we can do scans to assess, are we dealing with an early onset of bone loss called osteopenia, or are we dealing with more pronounced osteoporosis? But magnesium is a critical player in keeping your bones dense and optimized and supple and helps to also articulate calcium into your bones and even your teeth. So if you've had any dental caries or bone loss around the gum line or have had more recent broken bones, your bone health can be supported by magnesium. Now for women who are menstruating, magnesium can also help lower menstrual discomfort. This can be during your ovulation. A lot of times you'll have something called metal smirting or ovaries cramp a little bit as they're releasing a follicle. And it also supports the actual cramping, the, endo, the, um, the endometrial lining shed. So the actual cycle that happens and we're cramping. Magnesium in a deficient state leads to increases in cramps. And for women who have endometriosis or any type of thickening of their endometrial lining, magnesium can help balance that out as well. Huge, huge, huge benefits to your uterus and your, um, your, the lining of the, the uterus, the uterine lining. The other benefit here, which I think is honestly probably the most understated benefit is that magnesium, when we're in a deficient state, it actually affects our mood and the regulation of our neurotransmitters. And this is really complex. There's a whole bunch of neurobiology. And I've talked about that here in our blog and communicated with a lot of our organics community, but we see mood disorders affect women in their mid to late thirties, all the way up into their seventies. And it's a really serious problem. We're seeing more cases of women who are suicidal or having really debilitating anxiety and depression, sometimes after postpartum and the mood regulation of magnesium is a huge player here. Magnesium helps to balance our neurotransmitter communication and also helps reduce inflammation in our brain that can lower cytokine production of the brain. We're seeing this effect with long COVID. We're seeing this effect after certain viruses and just overall aging. Our mood and the regulation of our neurotransmitters can be greatly improved when we level up and balance and optimize our magnesium. And then this is honestly a huge, huge factor. For women, we are prone because of many reasons. And I talk a lot about that here. I covered in our heart health awareness, a lot of the factors behind heart disease for men and women, particularly women, 
the role of estrogen reduction, so we are seeing a lowered estrogen and lowered progesterone, we see instances of increasing cardiovascular, cardiovascular health impairment. So we will see often a change in lipid metabolism, meaning you might have perfect cholesterol and then all of a sudden you're going through perimenopause or you're in your fifties and you're like, wait a second, my triglycerides are increasing and my LDL is increasing. I'm doing nothing, no changes, nothing that's pronounced where you say, okay, this is what's happening. The magnesium levels are a factor here as are the decreasing of estrogen and progesterone. So when we look at what is one of the best supplements for women to take and one of the key minerals that women need every day to support cardiovascular health and be preventative for heart disease, it's actually the role of magnesium to help balance lipid metabolism. This has massive impacts for reducing your metabolic syndrome, which is really common from blood clotting to stroke risk to heart attack risk. We also see regulation of our blood pressure. So one of the things that's really wild, and we're seeing more communication about this as women, but when we start to see lowered estrogen, and this can be applicable for my women in their 20s and 30s, that might be medically induced uh, reduction of estrogen, we will see an increase in blood pressure imbalances. And we'll also see increases in their inflammatory cells and also a decrease in the endothelial cell function. Endothelial lining, it's a single cell lining, kind of like the gut lining, but in our vascular and, and arterial system. So in the me mechanism of our veins and arteries, the endothelial function is what's key for keeping things moving and the dilation and expansion and uh, you know the increase and decrease of our veins. When we have endothelial dysfunction, we will see greater instances of cardiovascular episodes, heart attacks, stroke. We'll even see increasing uh, dysfunction of the uh, accumulation of blood clots and even bone matter. So we'll see our, our, our atherosclerosis. But when it comes to hormones playing a role in our heart health and our cardiovascular health, magnesium is the balancer. So if you have a family history like I have, magnesium is a must go to because I'm trying to prevent two or three generations of heart disease and history with heart issues by, in my current state, I'm trying to minimize that as my own body is going through changes in estrogen and progesterone as I'm in my mid forties. So for women, it's really critical. We dial in and optimize our magnesium. So I always recommend test, don't guess, really drill down and ask your provider when you're getting a regular lab drawn, say, I want to test my magnesium. That's not always done. We assume that, you know, certain values are being assessed, but that don't assume, always ask for it. And then based on your magnesium level, don't be surprised if you have high cholesterol, lower estrogen, have thyroid imbalances. Maybe you've gained weight recently and you've had really imbalanced cycles and crampy cycles in your history. Don't be surprised if magnesium deficiencies at the heart of that. So preventatively, you can use magnesium to help support your body. But for women, it really is a miracle worker. And I call it the miracle mineral because it's just absolutely essential in so many different functions and system interactions in our body that being deficient in magnesium is just so common. And unfortunately, the symptoms are part of the factor um, and, and the byproduct. And instead of addressing the symptoms, I, as a naturopath, like to recommend getting to the root cause. And magnesium deficiency is such a core root cause for women, hormonal imbalance and weight gain and stress management and bone density, all of the things that often start changing and sometimes being prob problematic as we age, we can drill down and dial in to supporting your magnesium levels. And that's why I recommend magnesium seven. I take it. I recommend it to all my friends and family and my patients and my social community and everybody here at organics, because it's so critical. And if there's like one kind of nutrient or one supplement that you, you should never not take, it is a magnesium seven. So we have the whole cascade of assorted uh, versions and forms of magnesium to address all of the different body functions that we have that require optimal magnesium. And so you're overall supporting your, your health and your wellness, but the longevity and your long-term care is benefited now 
in the current state by increasing your magnesium. So that's my recommendation. Definitely test it. And you may end up buying, you might meeting, you, you might find that you need a thousand milligrams a day or even more than that. Just, you know, work with a professional and find where you're at and start testing to make sure you're getting to that optimal level. So those are my tips today for helping support women in optimizing their magnesium. And there's just so many benefits that you cannot go wrong with in increasing your magnesium. And don't be surprised too, if you are on any medication, it's very common that over-the-counter and even pharmaceutical medications can decrease your magnesium levels. So be aware of that. Ask your pharmacist. If you have three or four pharmaceuticals, ask, does this decrease my magnesium? That's your kind of tell, like you actually need probably more than what our normal recommendation, which is a daily recommendation of 375 milligrams. So just be aware, ask questions, and definitely take magnesium seven.